Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, Texans take a lot of things seriously, but kolaches might just take the cake. Now, whenever we're on the road traveling down Interstate 35, Slovacek's in West is our go-to stop. But on a recent trip to Galveston, we found a kolache shop that might just be able to keep up with the best of them, thanks to their good dough. On the corner of 39th Street and Avenue N in Galveston, you'll find a regular old shopping center that doesn't really have any signs. But boy, does it have some smells. This is where you'll find the good dough kolache bakery. And owner Mary Bass has reeled in one heck of a reputation faster than it takes to cook a batch of these beyond beautiful baked goods. You guys are so confident in the kolaches, you don't even have a sign out front. I know. Yeah, so we kind of are a ghost kitchen in the sense that you can't even find us. Mary is a classically trained chef that's taught others in the culinary arts. And she's got a long family history here on the island. I am a fifth generation Galvestonian. Wow. Yep. My, that's awesome. The oldest home on the island, which is the Bernard House, was my great grandfather's home. Really? He was the police chief during the 1900 storm. Wow. Yep. So Henry Ketchum is his name. That's awesome. So we've got really cool, awesome Galveston history. In March of 2021, Mary gathered some of the students she trained over the years and opened up the Good Do Kolache Bakery. But these aren't your run-of-the-mill breakfast pastries. We don't have a sausage kolache. We do all the fun and funky, all the flavors that are super unique. Yeah, I've seen some crazy kolaches over my day, but I've never seen one with artichoke in it. Yeah. <laughs> Surely one would think that kolache purists think good dough is not worth the dough, but oh no. Mary and her crew took their kolaches to one of the biggest kolache showdowns in the Lone Star State just months after opening their store. In that September, we entered the Caldwell Kolache Festival and we won grand champion with our brisket kolache. Not even open a year yet. You are not even open a year yet. I've been to that competition. I know that's more serious than most barbecue competitions I go to. It was crazy. Like being behind the scenes and the judging of that, like it has been amazing. It's always good to get the hardware. Man, it just, it's such a validation for them. You know, like they put in so much work and I've seen these kids when they started, you know, first day of culinary school and now where they are now, it's, it's proud for me to be a part of that and be a part of their story and a part of their journey. And I'm just honored that they trust me to work enough with me that, you know, to be a part of their career. These look amazing. Yes. Let's try some. Let's do it. Before biting into one of these crazy concoctions, Mary wanted to clear up one thing about her kolaches. No, we will never have a gluten-free kolache, and no, we will never have a low-fat kolache, and no, I'm not going to tell you how many calories are in it. They're made with love, they're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Understood, let's eat. So our number one best-selling kolache has got to be the Lumberjack. It is a maple bacon sage sausage cream cheese kolache. Holy moly. And then it's drizzled with maple syrup. Sweet and savory and everything. Sweet and savory and everything. Oh, wow. Pretty good kolache. That's awesome. Original kolaches were only sweet, and so mm -hmm. you know the the prune and the plum and apricot and those flavors. But um, the savory ones really like settled in the hearts of Texans. Sure, <laughs> and sure. So good, the good hearty breakfast. Yeah, though. they're good hearty breakfast. Yeah. Okay. On to onward. Yes. We're gonna do the okie dokie artichoke. Yes, this I'm very curious about. Yes. I've never heard of an artichoke. Okay, so like artichoke spinach dip mm. is. Like one of my favorite snacks of all time. I mean, it's just good spinach dip and then it's in the sweet dough. Stop, it's so good. That's so weird. <laughs> like the left side of your tongue is picking up all the artichokes uh -huh. and the right side is doing the sweet. Isn't it great? That is really something. You know, I was worried you'd miss the texture of chips with this, but. Oh yeah. It's good. No, like it's this. good. Yeah. It's like eating soup out of a bowl. It's kind of that same <laughs> concept. This is our Caldwell Kolache Festival Grand Champion for 2021. Okay. And it is called our Mr. Mary's Barbecue. Okay. So it is a blend of my husband's smoked brisket, his house-made barbecue sauce, which we call a necessary sauce. Then it's mixed with cheddar cheese and our kolache dough. Time to try Let's the Grand Champion. Yeah. I can see why this one. Yeah, you, you understand. Like it's good brisket, like on its own, and then the sauce is good on its own, and the bread, 
But then you put them together, oh, magic, like angels all go down from heaven on this. This is like the most amazing barbecue hot pocket ever. Ever, ever. Well, you always have to finish these off with something sweet. Oh, you got to finish. I'm normally an eat dessert first kind of girl. Because, I mean, you might be full. Mm -hmm. like in, but, yeah. but here, we're going to have the Becky, which is our original kolache. This is the first one we ever created, and it is a pineapple upside down cake kolache. It's got brulee pineapples, fresh pineapple chunks, and whole cherries. It's got the cream cheese and the traditional. I know. It's barely lifted up. It's a it's a beautiful kolache. Oh man. That's our original. That's what we started with. The first kolache we ever made when we were recipe testing was this one. Wow. That cream in there is awesome. Oh uh, yeah, too. we make our own bourbon caramel and then it's mixed in with cream cheese and that's the base of most of our sweet kolaches. We call it the good good. <laughs> At the Good Dough Kolache Bakery, it's all good good because Mary's grandmother inspired her to do her best when it comes to cooking. Keeping that tradition alive is what keeps the home fires burning at Good Dough. And it was her passion to cook for people and she would say love must be shown, love must be demonstrated and the way our family does that is through food. And so that's just how we show our love around here is one little kolache at a time, but it's seeing the smiles on people's faces and being a part of their everyday lives and their kids come in and enjoy it. That's what I really love is just getting to see that part. Well, you guys are definitely taking kolaches to a whole new level. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, fantastic.